behind my wife's tomato plants and between the jump start fluorescent lights and the south facing window I have my most exciting project for this coming spring garden and that is sweet potatoes. Do you remember when we were in elementary school and we took a potato from home and we got a jar and put some toothpicks in it and put it in water and we were all amazed that they grew? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing here. But in this case, I'm growing what's called potato slips. Instead of planting the potatoes just in the garden, in the soil, like you would a Irish potato or a red potato, you'll have much greater success if you plant sweet potatoes with slips. And so each of these sweet potatoes will grow from the different eyes that they have here, individual slips. When they're about 18 inches long, I'll carefully break them off right at the base of the potato and then take those slips and put them in their own jars of water which I'll rotate the water out about every two or three days when I see it start getting a little murky. And then we'll let those slips grow until they have roots growing on them. And that'll probably take until about May. Sweet potatoes like hot weather, 70 degrees and above. So right now it's the first week in February and these will take about three months to grow. Then I will take half of my potato grow box and put sweet potatoes in and the other half I have red potatoes in. I'm sharing this video with you now so if you want to grow sweet potatoes now is the time to start so they can be out in the warm weather. They are a beautiful plant. They will make a great ground cover if you want to put them out front. They have beautiful foliage and gorgeous flowers. No one would ever know that you're growing sweet potatoes in your flower bed. If you haven't had sweet potato chips, like potato chips, you're really missing a treat. There's nothing better than growing your own sweet potatoes, slicing them up nice and thin, seasoning them, and then pulling them out of the oven with your own sweet potato chips. They're awesome. Of course, there are lots of ways to use sweet potatoes in different recipes. And of all the vegetable garden items that you can plant, sweet potatoes are one of the very most nutritious staples. And a big advantage with sweet potatoes over Irish potatoes is they store a long time. So for the cost of four potatoes, I'll probably be harvesting hundreds of pounds of sweet potatoes this coming fall. I'll keep you updated on how they progress every few weeks or so. If you want to be able to harvest sweet potatoes or just have a great looking ground crop in your flower bed, now is the time to start to make your own slips. We bought these sweet potatoes just at the local grocery store. I got some peanut butter jars that I have left over and a couple mason jars. Took some barbecue skewers and I put the potatoes in a jar with rainwater and I'm off to the races. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you love sweet potatoes, want a long lasting storage potato, want to be able to make your own sweet potato chips and enjoy sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving, now is the time to get started.